In this lesson, you're going to learn how to create text on a path. All sorts of fun can be had creating text on a path. You can draw any shape and you can use this shape to create your text following the curvature of the lines in the shape. There are only four simple steps to create text on a path. First of all, type in the text. Secondly, create your curved line. Third, select both the object and the text. And fourth, right click and select Apply Path. Let's see how easy this is to do. You're looking at DesignWorks software. The wizard is open. Simply click Next and Next through the, fa the uh, fabric choice. In the artwork source, put a radio dot by new graphic because we want a clean um, screen to work with and click on Finish. When you're working with text, it's a good idea to work with a rotated hoop. So I'm going to click on Manage the Hoop Options and place a check mark by Rotate by 90 degrees and click OK. Now we have our rotated hoop. To type in the text, click on the Edit Text and I can pre-select my size or font if I want or simply click on the screen and type in the phrase that I want to place on the path. To create the path, I'm going to use the Create Freehand Shapes tool in this case and just click and drag a line for the text to follow. I'll click on the rectangle selection and then select Control A on the keyboard to select both the text as well as the path. Right click and select Apply Path. Wasn't that easy? Now let's talk about editing. I can edit the text and to do so I want to click on my edit text icon again and I of course can go back and change the font size here. I could change the type of font but there are some other options that will only show up when you're working with text on a path. One is text placement and there are four different options so let's look at each one of these and see what they do. First of all, let's choose top and you can see top puts the lettering below the, the line and it's the capital letters of the text are a little bit below the line. Ascent also places the text below the line, but here the capital letters are on the line. Baseline is my default and on baseline this shows the text with the majority of the letters of course ending on the baseline and those that extend below the baseline will extend below the line. If I choose bottom, the letters that extend typically beyond the baseline are placed right at the baseline. So you have your choice of how to orient the text on uh, according to your line. You also can choose alignment. The software defaults to left, but you can also choose center alignment, which puts the text in the center of the line that you drew, or you ch can choose right alignment, and that will place it over on the far right. If I click on reverse direction, instead of reading left to right, the text is right to left. So I'm going to uncheck that and I'm going to choose center. The other thing that we have uh, control of is the offset and this actually controls the distance that the lettering is from the end of the line where it would normally be. Uh, so I can also edit by clicking anywhere on this line and say I wanted to do an added space here I can click in between the text and press the space bar to add a little bit more distance between the letters. I also have the capability of editing the line itself and if I do this I will edit, uh, click on the line first to select it and then select edit shape nodes. And here I can make all sorts of new shapes. I can add 
a node by double clicking on the line and then simply select everything and apply the path again and that lettering will then take on the edited line shape. If I don't want to have the line in the end, I can select it and press delete, and now my text will remain on that path. One other fun thing to do is if you have Bernina embroidery software, and this would be either in version 6 or 7, you can actually draw a spiral line with your uh, in artwork canvas. I have done this already, and I've copied and pasted it into design work software and this vector spiral can then be used to apply um, text on a path. I'll click on the edit text tool, click on the design screen, and type the same and Again, to apply the path, I simply select everything on screen with a control A, right click, and select apply path. Again, to edit the text, I have all the placement possibilities, I have the alignment possibilities, I can reverse the direction so the text it goes in the opposite direction. It will, instead of reading left to right, it will read right to left. Or, if I want to click in front of the lettering, I can use the space bar to get this rotated exactly like I want. If I decide I do not want my spiral shape to be used, I can select that and press delete.